When evaluating the cerebral spinal fluid for the possibility of a subarachnoid hemorrhage, it is important to consider the possibility of a traumatic tap where the inadvertent puncture of a blood vessel results in a blood stain sample. With the patient lying in the lateral decubitus position, the normal opening pressure in adults is considered to be between 90 and 180 millimeters of water. In the setting of a subarachnoid hemorrhage, the opening pressure may be normal or elevated, while with a traumatic tap, the opening pressure will be normal or decreased. The normal appearance of the cerebral spinal fluid is clear and colorless. With a subarachnoid hemorrhage, the cerebral spinal fluid can be reddish due to the presence of erythrocytes, or yellowish, referred to as anthrochromia, due to the presence of bilirubin. Erythrocytes, however, may not be present if the bleed was minimal and there has been sufficient time for lysis to occur. Xanthochromia, on the other hand, can be detected by spectrophotometry even if the bleed was minimal and no erythrocytes have been detected. A traumatic tap also yields a sample with a reddish color due to the presence of erythrocytes. To help distinguish the error of a traumatic tap, the red blood cell count is measured in successive tubes. With a traumatic tap, the red blood cell count will decline as tubes are collected. That is, the first tube will have the greatest number of erythrocytes, while the last tube will have the fewest. With a subarachnoid hemorrhage, the red blood cell count is expected to be similar in each tube. Now while this is usually the case, the red blood cell count occasionally decreases in a sequential tube analysis. A traumatic tap can also be distinguished by the lack of xanthrochromia on spectrophotometry. Because bilirubin formation occurs in vivo, it usually will not be present in the cerebral spinal fluid collected from a traumatic tap. It must be remembered, however, that because bilirubin takes hours to form, xanthrochromia will not be detected for the first few hours following the onset of a subarachnoid hemorrhage. With a traumatic tap, blood clotting can occur within the test tube of cerebral spinal fluid due to the presence of plasma fibrinogen. It does not occur with a subarachnoid hemorrhage because the fibrination has occurred in vivo. Other less characteristic findings that can occur in the setting of a subarachnoid hemorrhage include elevations in the protein and glucose levels as well as in the white blood cell count.